Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Princess Polly haul for you. Yesterday I went to the Princess Polly warehouse sale on the Gold Coast. Jacob and Tor came with me. Can't say I was too impressed, but I got some things. We woke up at 5.30, got there around 7.30. It started at 8. We were in line for about two hours. And then when we actually got in there, a lot of the items were stained with like makeup or just like random liquid stains. Or, yeah, just like stained or had holes in them or like massive tears. Some clothing items were like unfixable, even if you're good with a sewing machine. I know some girls had a good experience and managed to find heaps of clothes that weren't damaged or had stains on them for a really good price. Um, I grabbed up a few pieces, but I think there's only one that I'm actually happy with. So I'm trying everything on for you and I really hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoy. So the first item I got is this dress, this purple dress. I love Princess Polly. I've always shopped on their website like for like over five years now and I've never ever had a problem with their clothing. It always fits. I always get a size eight in everything. All of the clothing has lasted ages. This is actually from Princess Polly. Only thing that I have issues with is dresses. They're always really short on me. So I got this in a size eight. I grabbed it from the size eight table. Some of the items had tags on them um, that told you how much they were and what was wrong with them. Four of the items that I got um, didn't even have tags on them so I don't know what's actually wrong with them if there is something wrong with them but this dress it said pop-up sale $10 mark on the back of the dress the lady at the checkout gave it to me for five dollars and you probably can't even see the mark it's like that like the tiniest little white mark which I'm not even mad at it's just like a lilac dress it's a bit short but it's cute fits nicely yeah I haven't really got any problems with it and I got it for five dollars I guess that's a win so the next dress I got was one of the dresses that didn't have a tag on it is this cute brown dress it's this cute brown dress with stripes I got it in a size small which is equivalent to a size 8 I'm pretty sure the lady gave it to me for five dollars and it just ties up at the front the only thing I can think of that's wrong with it is that this like fraying I don't know if that's actually part of the style or if that's how it's supposed to be but I guess it's kind of cute I think that's a win actually win 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 Win, win, win. Next dress I got is by the same brand as that one actually, Hazel. Size small as well. It's got like a, um, a square neckline. It definitely needs an iron. Like I have an iron, but I really can't be bothered. Maybe a wash. But I actually don't think there's anything wrong with this. I put it on and it feels perfectly fine. There's no holes in it anywhere. There's no stains. There's no like seams coming undone or anything. It's actually perfectly fine. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Just need to have an iron and a fresh tan on. The next one was an absolute fail, I think. Looks super cute on the website. I put it on and it's not super cute. Really cheap material. It's like see-through. You can actually see me through it. I believe for this one they were trying to charge, yeah, $25 strap adjustment broken, which is true. The strap adjustment is broken. She gave this one to me for 10 or $15, I think. I, in this case, I'm not even gonna wear it. The material is not form hugging at all. It's like baggy everywhere. Personally, I, I wouldn't wear it. The next piece I got is this blue dress. This is actually, I love it. I would have got this if it wasn't on sale. It's got another square neckline, which is very flattering. The only problem is it's got a hole in the bottom here. Only thing is, again, it's a dress. Dresses are always super short on me. Now, the next Thing I got I thought it was a bodysuit but turns out it's a swimsuit it's this really cute one piece it ties up at the front it's got a hole in the back it was $20 down to $10 so yeah on the front here that's supposed to be attached there and then on the back it's doing the same thing it fits really nicely actually and yeah I got it for $10 next item I got I'm unsure of I want to like them but I can't decide they're these 
frilly shorts. They actually have nothing wrong with them. And they're just like a white short. They've got lace detailing on them. They're just like lace. And they're frilly. I'm just unsure. But other than that, they're good quality. They fit perfect. They're a size 8. I don't know what to do with them, to be honest. I don't know if I'll keep them. I really do. I don't know. The next piece I've got is this play suit. I actually really like it. It's one of those ones that ties up around the front. It's sleeved as well. It's got short sleeves. I actually have a play suit from Princess Polly that's exactly the same. I'm pretty sure I got this one for $5. Like the only thing that's wrong with it is there's like a blue stain, which you probably can't even see. Definitely going to keep it. And $5, bargain. Last item is the item that I love the most. It's this red bodysuit. <laughs> I remember what was wrong with this. The tag said that it smelt like detergent that it smelt like it had been washed and that's why it was so cheap. It's got adjustable straps which work. It's got the clasps at the bottom. It's a nice thick material so it won't be see-through. It's really nice, fits perfectly. And I'm really happy with it. Absolutely love that one. All right, so overall, I think I've got some good pieces that will um, I'll definitely get wear out of. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.